So uh, you might already notice that you were asked to remember, or you were told, oh, this is the integral of sine square. This is the integral of cosine square. Why not just to memorize it? There was integral of secant at some point in your homework, and you was asking some questions. Are we required to memorize this? No, people just derive those formulas using different methods, integration by parts, u substitution, some other methods which we don't cover in this class. And they got these formulas, lots of lots of formulas. There are many of them. It's, this is not the full table. You can see this table uh, at the end of the book, but you don't have to actually. Oh, this is the integral of arc sine, arc cosine. You had it in your homework. There are lots of lots of integrals, lots of them. I actually can show you on the computer. We have, here they are. If you just Google table integrals, there are lots of them. The thing is, uh, some people did master's degree just on finding those integrals. So that's why they exist. Using different methods, some integrals were done for you, so you don't have to do it from scratch. But now you need to learn how to use this information. And I always tell this uh, story. There is, I think, a physics Nobel Prize uh, winner, and his hobby was to memorize all the table integrals. And he did. He was very proud about it. He could, a random time and a random location, say, oh, the integral of arc secant times logarithm is. That was his hobby, so you don't have to do it. But he liked it to, to memorize all of those table integrals. Our job is to learn how to use it. So, for example, this is how your homework will look like. Use a table of integrals to evaluate the integral from 0 to 1, e to the x square root, e to the 2x minus 1 dx. So you have this integral. Uh, you can try different methods, and they might not work. So they tell you already, check out the table. So it's possible this integral was done in the way we did not learn. But we have formula for you, which might help. So you open the end of the book, or you Google the table, and you start looking for something that looks like this integral. And you find this formula. You find a square root. So of course, obviously, you're looking for square roots. OK, not to say obviously in the math class it's wrong because people feel uh, intimidated. The point is, you, it's again solving a puzzle. You're looking for the integral that, looking, that is looking like yours. So it should have square root. So copy this a formula. You found this. So the idea will be, let's use we will use this integral, square root of u squared minus a squared du. And it has the answer. So your job is to match whatever you have with this result. And use this result to find the answer for your integral. So again, it's a solving a puzzle. What do you see is common? What do you see is different? What to change? Uh, and after all, maybe you chose a wrong table integral. It might not work. Then choose another one. So it's like a trial or trying and failing and trying again. What do you think uh, we should do? As you can see in my integral, in the integral we found is u squared minus a squared. And we have e to the 2x minus 1. So the easy one is a. What is a? 1. So that's the one I think uh, stands up right away. a is 1. Yeah, we start glitching. Then what is u? e to the x, because then it's u squared, becomes e to the 2x. Then, we, when we found this, we already can see that we have something square root of u squared minus a squared. That will match. Don't forget, you need to change 0 and 1. So when x is 0, what should I write down? u equals e to the 0, which is, you're right, 1. When x is 1, u is what? e. e to the 1. So we will have this table used. Basically, we're doing u substitution, but we want to match the result right away. Yeah, it's glitching. Let me restart it. 
who can read me the integral right now? Who is, oh, who is uh, not sleeping so we can actually start writing the integral using the information we just did? I would say first, we're not going to use a table first. We're going to just write the left-hand side of this table. I want this to be right now happening, the left-hand side in blue. So what is going to be integral from what to what? So 0 is 1 from 1 to e. Then square root. Let's write down square root. What's inside the square root? u squared minus a squared, which is 1 squared. What's happening with dx? So as always, when you write down u, you write du. du is e to the x dx, exactly. But we have it over there. Let me put it in yellow. We have e to the x dx. Perfect match. So dx times e to the x becomes du. And that is, this is a perfect match of the integral we are looking at. But this is a definite integral, which is fine. We will use the formula, plug the numbers. So, we now know the answer of this uh, integral. The integral I'm right, um, right now in front of you, we know the answer. The answer is right-hand side of this formula. It's going to go over here. But everywhere you see u and a, we're going to change it to uh, e to the x and 1. You don't have to do it right away. You can write the whole formula, but it's going to be a huge waste of time. As always, the answer is not in terms of u. So we're just going to go back to. Yeah, we actually did not have to then. So that's why I want to ask this question at the end. Uh, let's do both ways. Either I'm going to write down the answer as it is u over 2, u squared minus a squared minus a squared over 2, ln u plus a square root u squared minus a squared. And instead of plus c, I will put huge brackets or parentheses and then a bar from 1 to e. Or, or, you could write it down as, so this is way too, let me put it in blue. Or, which usually is liked by students more, is you change, you do the same thing, the same right hand side, like so. But you change u to be e to the x over 2 s square root e to the 2x e to the 2x minus 1 minus 1 half ln e to the x plus e to the 2x minus 1 absolute value. But then, what is the difference? The bar will be from 0 to 1. So that's what I want to remind you to be careful with this. And also change all the a's to 1. We don't need a. 1 and 1 and 1. So either or. If it's indefinite integral, you have to go back to the original variable. If it's definite, you choose what to do. You want to use the original formula or change limits of integration. Plug the top minus the bottom and the answer follows. My point was be careful and be consistent uh, which one you're plugging, if you're changing limits of integration or not. So which one do you want to do, the way one or way two? Okay, let's do two. Then limits, changing of limits of integration was not necessary then. So plug one everywhere you see x, e to the one over two, over e, e squared minus 1 minus 1 half ln e to the 1 plus a square root e squared minus 1. We plugged 1. And then check out how careful I am with the negative sign. Someone in another class asked me, is this minus minus? This is actually a European notation of how to move to another lane. I just realized that I never asked local professors if they do the same thing or not. I should. But this is, means we're going to another lane. So I will put huge brackets and I'll plug zero everywhere. E to the zero is not zero. Remember that. It's one, one over two. 
uh, e to the zero is still one. One minus one gives you zero. Minus one half ln absolute value one plus one minus one. Make sure you distribute the negative sign. Don't make mistake there. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I know the answer. So this is zero. This is zero. Ln of one is what? Zero. So the whole thing is actually zero. So the whole second part is going away. You can copy the first part, which I don't want to. That is the correct answer. I will put it in the green box. This is the final answer. And I know the approximate answer because it's in my notes. It's approximately 2.6067. Very cool. So if you ever encounter an integral in your work and studies, for example, the aerodynamics have lots of integration there, lots of different formulas, magnetization, and you see that it looks like something familiar, that probably means you saw it in a table. Go to the table, use it as a tool, and finish. Finish working on it. What do you think about that? Questions, ideas, suggestions? Yes? Probably. That's a very common question. 